James Wan is James the wine guy. This wine is next. It's called Seed Red Wine. It's coming from Mendoza, Argentina. Stay tuned. So here's what we have, and I will tell you this, I have reviewed Seeds Malbec, 100% Malbec, but what I prefer to enjoy when I have a meal, I'm going to enjoy something that is a Bordeaux blend from Mendoza versus 100% Malbec. That's just my style and preference. I know a lot of people, a lot of people who want 100% Malbec, totally understand that that's fine. I do try to encourage people to try the blends because I think they're a great hit and uh, something to enjoy and experience and uh, get exposure to. So here we go with this wine, the front label, 2014 vintage. And if you've been watching my videos, you'll know that I love simple labels. This is a 2014 vintage seed. And I love the green mark up here signifying that seed, Mendoza, Argentina, red wine. And the back label, 13.9%. It's gonna be a much hotter wine and you're gonna mask some flavors in my opinion. So that's been the craze. And I've talked about alcohol you know, percentages, low to high often. Now, for me, um, you know, when I go to have a, uh, say, a steak dinner, I'm gonna have a Bordeaux blend, either a Bordeaux, a uh, Napa Valley wine, or wine from Chile or Argentina, or even Australia or other regions around the world. But what I really want is complexity. I don't want 100% Cabernet Sauvignon, nor do I want 100% uh, Malbec, because I think it, there's just too much uh, exciting wines to be tasting. And also there's a point on this, on the back label, which you might have seen, which is wine is life, life is short, and save for every drop. I've said things like that before in the past. And I think, you know, the point there is, uh, you know, enjoy what you like and don't drink what you don't enjoy. I think that's the other part of the equation too, is to really get into that point of discovering what is your uh, favorite wine. So here we go first with the point score, 93 points out of 100 points. And uh, now the scent characterization. So in this uh, really a beautiful wine of uh, moist forest floor, blackberry, currant, violets, a hint of uh, leather and uh, wood notes of oud and cedar. Gorgeous. Blueberry, blackberry, pepper, thyme, bay leaf, chocolate, and cinnamon. And I, I just really get that characterization of the uh, Cabernet Franc and the Cabernet Sauvignon. They're, if it were 100% Malbec, it would be much more of a violet characteristic. But instead, I think that's within check and, and creates a greater complexity to this wine. Again, 93 points out of 100 points. More reviews to come. And, uh, you know, ask your wine merchant to bring in these wines. I think they're fantastic. Also ask your wine merchant to, you know, seek out more of the Bordeaux blends from Mendoza. I think they're highly underappreciated and some beautiful wines coming from that region. Thank you for watching today. More great wines to come. And uh, it's only... Three quarters of the year is completed, but there's still more wine ahead. And I'm on a variety of social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram and WordPress. Thank you for watching today. Stay tuned for more. Share this video. Subscribe to the channel. It's right up here. Give a like to the channel or give a like to this uh, video right down here. Questions and comments will be listed here as well. And I'll put more information on this producer. Thank you for watching today. Stay tuned for more. Salute.